but you can see how the water is trapped under there and that salt water during the winter gets trapped under there and you know kills your jeep welcome to michael and games and welcome back to another jeep video and this one i'm going to be winterizing my jeep so basically i'm going to start out by washing the underside with my power washer and then i'm going to be using some truck bed coating to basically do the underside that'll be tomorrow because you got to let it dry but uh, let's let's check out what i'm using here you know go to the harbor freights as you do and you get the rubberized coating uh, it's got a jeep on it too so you know that's pretty good right anyways uh there's my power washer that again i got from harbor freight as well yeah let's just uh, wash it down first this is the back passenger fender well just so you can see the frame it's not horrible it looks like it's still coated from whatever they coated it with last time they might have did it last winter i don't know because i just bought this in january i mean it doesn't look horrible it does look like there is some rusting uh like under here it might be hard to tell because of the sun but um we're gonna be doing this let's get over here you can see some more rust spotting on here let's uh get under here yeah i mean you can see the rust spots so we're gonna want to clean this all off i'm gonna first just wash it gonna get a brush and brush what i can off and then uh yeah there's some more rust there then uh maybe wash it a second time just make sure we get all the oil and dirt off you know from the road as you can see there's not as much as my my friend's car but you can see some splashes of oil they've been doing a lot of road work so they've been laying down oil for the new paved roads but as you can see there as well there is rust not sure how well you can see in here let me get around here my ko2s let's get over here you can see some more oil you definitely need to get that washed off or the stuff won't stick and then i'm also going to be cleaning out the inside of the frame as well but you can see there's some rust forming there doesn't look like it's too bad though but we're going to get this all cleaned off all right, so this is the passenger side let's go around driver's side going to be using this the turtle wax seems like it's pretty good oh look at that uber discount uh let's get over here yeah, i mean it's not horrible let's just see hopefully this is a good angle let's see yeah, you can see all the dirt and uh oil and whatnot that's all in there but overall it doesn't look too bad looks pretty good actually looks better than i thought it did from the last time i looked at it but as you can see what rust does over time this is from way before i owned the jeep but uh let's see the inside i haven't really looked up here in a long time so i'll see once i edit all right so that's that so let's get the power washer turned on and start rinsing her off all right let's start washing her down so basically what you want to do just spray the frame down with the soap dang it nope shoot my hose is getting stuck it's probably getting pinched i gotta go fix that all right let's try that again so basically yeah just you're gonna want to get everything washed down with some are you kidding me it was just working a second ago there we go nope why is it doing that damn it let's try it again nope all right i think i got it fixed now i'm not sure what's going on with it seems like it's working a little better so basically you just want to get the whole thing wet with soap and then i'm going to scrub it off with a brush which i'll show next i'm not going to show too much washing because i've showed you guys how to wash it before so i'm just gonna probably skip through all the washing I'm just going to show you this. So you do want to get the inside of the frame washed as well. So you just spray the soap in there through the holes. And then... You can see it all coming out there it's doing pretty good let's keep going i mean you can see through this hole there yep 
get around to the back here so in the back there's another hole here pretty clean it doesn't look like there's too much dirt since the last time I rinsed out the frame maybe a month or so ago and then in here there's another one you want to get everything you can clean it as best as possible looking good let's get out of the sun that looks pretty good and there's also on the sides too some more holes that you can squirt through you're gonna want to get as most as you can all right so I got the whole thing basically soaked up uh, you want to make sure you get everything on the inside too it's gonna be more difficult to get to but you want to get your differentials and everything just you know wash them all down and then we'll be spraying them down tomorrow like I said, uh, well, that'll be in this video in a little bit, but tomorrow for me. But yeah, I just want to get everything washed down next, and then I'm uh, going to get a brush and scrub it down. want to rinse it out make sure you stick the nozzle in the hole until no more soap comes out and then there's multiple ones here that you want to put the nozzle in just make sure you keep spraying until all the soap stops coming out and it's clean water coming out of the holes and then you're basically done and then you just want to let it dry probably overnight or over a few days but um, I'm just going to let it dry overnight most likely I might get a fan to put on it just so you know speed up the process of it drying because i need to do some stuff tomorrow as well i mean i could postpone them but uh yeah so just make sure you get all those holes make sure there's no more soap and you'll be good to go all right so this is the first thing i found to use just kind of scrape off the you know old uh undercoating that's on there it's just kind of flaking off i want to make sure i get off what i can so let's get uh, down here all right, so it's a little hard to see, but like here, see that? It's just flaking off. I just want to get off what I can. This is all old underbed coating. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand, but you just want to knock off the excess in old underbed coating. That way it doesn't continue to rust out. See that? It's all nasty. So I'm going to do that off camera because well, for the sake of time, man, because you don't really need to see that, but like over here, it's, it's just hard to do with only one hand, but you can see how the water is trapped under there and that salt water during the winter gets trapped under there and, you know, kills your Jeep basically or any vehicle you own, which is probably why this rusted out. I got the Jeep sprayed down as much as I can. I'm going to let it dry off now overnight, but let's get down in here, see see if we can see actually what's going on so I, I did get a bunch of chunks of the old underbed coating off as you can see on the ground there's chips all over and that basically if i didn't get that off it would trap in the salt water and make the jeep rust even more so as you can see i got quite a bit off looks pretty good yeah all those are chips okay so anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to do the painting tomorrow should be dry by then. Now the next day, I got some more equipment here. I got a mask and some goggles from the Harbor Freights, as you do. This was like eight bucks. Looks like it's got a pretty nice seal around the face and then a pretty good uh, respirator mask because you do not want to breathe this stuff in and you don't want that to get in your eyes or any rust or anything. So let's get inside here. You can see it's pretty dried off by now, but you can see there's rust and stuff on there. 
So we're just gonna start spraying that down and hopefully, you know, it won't rust anymore. I got the respirator on. Let's get under the Jeep and get it started. Got this can here. You're gonna wanna shake it for a few minutes to make sure you get it really shook up. And it's a little cold from being overnight. So I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for a few more minutes to warm up because you don't want it coming out all cold and it'll cake up and that's never good. All right, I'm gonna start on this side since I already got the blanket laid down. Basically, good so far yes I know I'm spraying these down it, it's not a big deal I got her fully sprayed down it might need a little more touch up but let's take a look what I've got so far so I've done in here on the frame it's a little hard to get the GoPro in here but overall, it looks like it's pretty good. You know, it's got a good coat on it. I may want to do another coat later, but uh, right now I think this is good. I went through about three and a quarter cans, but I've got all this sprayed down on the frame. I've got the body sprayed down on the bottom here. It's a little hard to see. Then let's go around this way. On the front here on the axle, I've sprayed that down too. Just to make sure it's, you know, get a little protection on there. You don't really need to because it is solid steel, but it's felt like, you know, that had a little rust on it, so I sprayed it down a little more. Then on the frame here, uh, looks like I missed this, so I'm going to have to get that. And yeah, I missed that too, so I'm going to have to get that too. And it's hard to get on the inside because as you can see, it might be hard, but uh, by the transfer case, the uh, skid plate there you can't really get the can in there you got to take the skid plate off i'm not going to do that not today anyways on the driver's side in the back i got this sprayed down pretty good make sure you know you get it in through the top there because the water does get trapped in there that looks pretty good and then if we go all the way to the back end here i got the skid plate for the gas tank covered up pretty good it had some scuffs on it, either from me in Minnesota or from the previous owner. Had some scratches, so hit something. But uh, that looks good. Got that sprayed down. Got this all sprayed down. You don't want to get it on the tire too much, but you know what? It's fine. As long as you get it for the most part, it's good. And that, that's really basically it. Just want to make sure you get all the vital points. But basically the frame, really. And then up here on the gas tank uh, skid plate as well. Get the bolts sprayed down. So I guess this wasn't really too much of a tutorial or a how-to. I mean, it's a little bit of that. But basically, just another update on the Jeep, you know, getting it winterized as best I can at the moment. I may try and get it lifted up at a friend's house and spray it down a little more. But I don't know about that. I mean, for the most part, I got it pretty good. If you have suggestions in there, if you guys have Jeeps and you know how to do this, you know, let me know in the comments if there's anything else I should know about. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already.